it's not difficult to communicate what it's like to ride a motorcycle because, you know, freedom, it felt like freedom, it felt like alternative, it felt like power, you know, like, uh, like I'd come in, camaraderie, the whole thing. And then it's just really a great place to think, to feel, to get away. You know, when I don't ride a motorcycle, I go through withdrawal. It's not good for my health. <laughs> If I asked you about art, you'd probably give me the skinny on every art book ever written. Michelangelo. I know a lot about him. Life's work, political aspirations, him and the Pope, sexual orientation, the whole works, right? I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. You've never actually stood there and looked up at that beautiful ceiling. In that. If I ask you about women, you'd probably give me a silver, say your personal favorites. You may have even been laid a few times. But you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. When I ask you about war, you probably uh, throw Shakespeare at me, right? Once more into the breach, dear friends. But you've never been near one. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap. Watch him gasp his last breath, looking to you for help. When I ask you about love, you probably quote me a sonnet. But you've never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. Known someone that could level you with her eyes. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. Could rescue you from the depths of hell. 
And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel. To have that love for her be there forever. Through anything. Let me tell you about a voice. Not this voice, but the one inside. The one that whispers. It tells me what's right and what's not. When to leave and where to go. It's not Shakespeare. It does not speak in memorable lines. My inner voice always gives it to me straight. Tells me who my real friends are. When to say yes. When to say no. Whether the person sitting next to me is the one I'll be spending the rest of my life with. Sometimes that voice is crystal clear. Go. Stay. Right. Wrong. Sometimes it merely whispers. Don't let it drown in a noisy world. Because in the end, no man, woman, or algorithm knows what's right for you. Always trust your inner voice. Everybody has one. View, listen to it.
90% of life is just showing up. That's it. If you show up, there's a chance that something might happen. You'll never know what opportunities you're missing out on until you just go out and do it. You will always have some sort of conflict going on in your life. You must learn to enjoy life while still solving them. There is beauty in everything we experience. You just need to adjust your perception. You can either cry in the storm or dance in the rain. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. And yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to, broken, and stoop and build them up with worn-out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss, and lose, and start again at your beginnings, and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them hold on if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you. If all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. yourself that nothing can stop you. You gotta believe that thing you're in is like a suit of armor, like an iron eagle that nothing can penetrate.
You feel like you're supposed to be somewhere else. Say you could snap your fingers and be wherever you wanted to be. I bet you'd still feel this way. Not in the right place. Point is, you can't get so hung up on where you'd rather be that you forget how to make the most of where you are. Take a break from worrying about what you can't control.